In addition to 227 ag education programs in Virginia middle and high schools, 19 public high schools offer more intensive learning experiences, often called land labs. They offer a range of opportunities, including raising livestock, planting crops, and applying forest practices. There's often an emphasis on the latest farm technology in subjects like livestock breeding, hydroponics, and solar power, all under the supervision of working farmers and teachers. In Isle of Wight County, students from Smithfield and Windsor High School share a 30-acre agricultural land lab. The outdoor ag education program began in 2017 as nothing more than an open field, but grew over the years to offer students an option outside a traditional classroom. I love to be outside and touch it and feel and just have good examples and all that. Right now we're working on a smokehouse and that'll be a really great project for this year. We're going to build a big smokehouse so we can hang our hams in there that we do for a competition through the FFA. I feel that getting out on the land, being able to put your hands on whatever you're talking about, just to give them hands-on opportunities. We can talk about it, we can look at it, we can physically touch it. I think it just gives the students a lot better understanding of what we are teaching and it, it, it gives them that real life scenario. My goal is to make sure students understand that farming isn't just your, your stereotypical old McDonald had a farm riding on a tractor with a pair of overalls on. Um, we have a lot of row crops in our area, but there's so many other niches. What I like to do as the instructor is try to provide every niche that I can to the students. A lot of our students that come to us at the land lab, they may not be students that typically do well sitting in a desk in four walls. They come out here, to them it doesn't seem like school. Mr. Brittle, he, he likes to not just help us, but he likes to let us do things on our own and to teach things whether we fail or not. He, he likes to watch us fail every once in a while so that we can just pick ourselves up and do it again. That level of support is a big draw for the Isle of Wight program. 120 students now spend half their school days here immersed in the lessons. I come from Arizona. Coming out to Virginia and moving here, I just wanted to have more outside time and getting outside away from the table. As I have ADHD, I can't be inside all day and just moving out here is just a great time for me to relax myself and be out here with my friends to have this opportunity to, to use our hands and get out of the classroom from day to day. Across the state in Giles County, their agricultural land lab has expanded on 40 acres since opening in 2014 for Narrows and Giles County High Schools. Some students here have a farming background, but many more do not. When they come up here, this will be the first time they've, a lot of them have ever seen chickens. It'll be the first time some of them have ever seen sheep, goats, a donkey, or where eggs come from. And they can go into the chicken house, they collect the eggs, they wash the eggs. We plant potatoes, radishes, a lot of, lots of different vegetables. And they get an idea that this is where their food comes from, and without having the ag lab, they just wouldn't be exposed to any of that. It allows students to be able to learn with their eyes rather than learning from a book. Favorite activity would have to be doing hands-on stuff like learning how to give animal shots or banding like baby sheep or anything like that. Part of the FFA motto says doing to learn and that is what the students get to do up here is, is truly that actual hands-on doing, getting their hands dirty, all of the realities of what farming is, the good and the bad, they get to see it firsthand. No farm is ready-made. You just don't step onto a piece of property that is as is, that works, and that is flawless. Um, there's been a lot of blood, sweat, tears, um, and a lot of difficult conversations um, surrounded about how to make this facility the best that it can be for our students and what their plate looks like at the end of the day to be able to identify with those people and those hands and those products that go into their daily lives. All Virginia Land Labs follow state standards of learning and include the application of math and science on the farm. The students gain an understanding of what they need to learn to become the next generation of farmers or to support their parents now. You really want people, young people, to come into these farming operations to be able to keep farms going because we are, we're responsible for, for clothing and feeding the world. So that's, that's a very big deal. Ag education students often find additional hands-on experiences with internships. Land lab students sometimes earn community college tuition in exchange for their work. It's a growing success story for the students and the future of Virginia agriculture.
Reporting for Real Virginia, I'm Norm Hyde.